Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Torians. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Monday to you, 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 and you. Hopefully you all are having a great day on today, Taurus. Yes, no matter where you are, get up, set your intention. Say today is a great day because that's the intention you set. Yes, indeed, and proceed to have a great day, Taurus. Yes, no matter what's going on, you create the day that you want. Let's get into it. This is a general reading. These are the Lightseer's Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Let's go. Most High God, the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Torians as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality and where they need to take action. Action, action, action. Yes. All right. Taurus. Very logical. Gods and goddesses. Yes, you are. Create tours and in some cases guides to some people. Very logical, generous and trustworthy, determined, understanding, very kind, organized, patient. Yes, reliable, practical, devoted, responsible, stable. Yes, indeed. You are. Mm-hmm. 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 Boom. King of Swords. Yes, King of Swords. Two of Swords. We'll really make some room here. We have the Nine of Cups. You all have the Page of Swords. You have the Six of Cups. Mm-hmm. 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 And you have the Page of Wands. We're not going to be doing any numbers today. So come back on Sunday for numbers, but Page of Wands. Yes. So listen, this is nice. This is really, really nice. Hindsight is great. Your reading is not going to be long at all because I see quickly what this picture is here. So some of you all came out of a, a, of a very challenging relationship or relationships, plural, um, where you don't look like what you've been through. Look, you don't look like what you've been through. You had to walk a tightrope in a relationship, but when you came out, nobody knew. Like nobody could tell what you were going through. You went through a really challenging one. Where it could have, if you paid attention, it could have literally sucked the air out of you, could have sucked the wind out of you, the life out of you. But you stayed focused. Like, this is what I'm talking about. You had this laser focus. In the relationship, you had the blindfolds on because you really didn't want to see. Some relationships are so damaging that it's probably best for some people to say, okay, I need to just stay focused on something else because this right here, how, for whatever reason you stayed in the relationship, maybe it was reason because that felt like a security blanket. Maybe it's like, you know, if you felt security in family, you felt security in, you know, you felt like maybe we created bills together and we need to pay these things off or whatever the reason was. You stayed in the relationship, but once you took these blindfolds off and you really started listening to your ancestors, your inner voice, the God in you, and you started paying attention, they encouraged you to, hmm, take the blindfolds off and see things for what it really, really is, right? You became wiser, more knowledgeable. See this sword right here? This right here lets me know that you're focused on mindfulness. You're focusing on taking time out for you taking out time for you to focus on doing the things that you want to do, really coming into your own and realizing, hey, anything that I want in terms of security, whether it's money, a luxurious lifestyle, whatever it is that I want, I can actually create that for myself. So I'm going to be very careful about who I allow in my space because I don't want any more challenging relationships, right? that threaten to just suck the air out of me. Some of y'all have absolutely been in relationships with energy vampires. Um, but here's what you're going to focus on. These are the same people, by the way, this little boy and the older guy, just like the, the when he was a puppy and the big dog right here. So you're going to focus on what's nostalgic to you. You're going to focus on something that you've always loved to do. This is what's going to help you in your whole healing process. And also, this is what's going to re recharge your batteries, like to recharge your spirit. Also, with getting outside, doing some grounding, putting your hands in the dirt, gardening, right, is great for charging, recharging our energy. Um, but you're going to feel emotionally like you've hit the jackpot, emotionally feeling like you've hit the jackpot. Matter of fact, a lot of you all are starting to get your fire back because you all are nurturers by default. But just that one 
See, people don't even realize, like, sometimes it's just the one thing that you do that just balances out your energy. For you, it was taking your blindfolds off and seeing the beauty of everything around you, like really making use of the energy in the earth, right? Staying grounded, staying connected to people who are on your same frequency. Yeah, and you're starting to get your fire back again, which is great, Taurus. This is nice. This is really, really nice. Very, 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 very nice. It's always to stay connected to people who are on your frequency. Get as far away from people. Because again, when you're, white, when you're wearing blindfolds, it can give the appearance that everybody is the same. You don't really know who's who, who you can trust and who you can't trust when you have on blindfolds. But once you take the blindfolds off, you just say, hey, listen, we're just not on the same frequency. Here we have the King of Pentacles. Money always comes out in your cards. So yes, you all have always had the Midas touch, especially when it comes to your job, your money, that kind of thing. I see some of you all, mm, okay. I see the person trying to come back into your space, you know, but you won't be interested in going, you won't have any interest whatsoever. I see the Seven of Pentacles. I see where you have invested in yourself. But again, um, investing in yourself, you're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. Some of you all are kind of like in disbelief. Like I had, all I had to do is this one thing, like take those blindfolds off so I can see people for who they are. I, it, I'm telling you, like these elements, like you all are earth signs. We have earth, um, we have water signs, we have fire signs, and we have air signs. These elements are extremely powerful, but things are starting to come together for you. You always have to think, Taurus, grounding for me is what's going to recharge me make me feel so much better including with certain crystals including with certain um essential oils are also going to help you to really really feel like home like where your heart is right so some of you all were in total disbelief that you could get through some of these challenging relationships but guess what you're doing it you're absolutely doing it. And that person may try to come back to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, whether they contact you through your kids or whether they contact you through uh, or make some kind of contact in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But you're not even going to be interested. Like that that feeling has will just completely just disappear. But what you will remember is how stifled you felt in that relationship. This is this is what you will feel, like how stifled you were. I see you celebrating out of the side of your house, whether it's a new house, you refinance, uh, a building or something. But I see you being happy moving forward, right? And here we have another money card. I see you receiving money. So this is nice. This is a really, really nice spread for you all, um, Taurus. Yeah, really nice spread for you all. So I am very, very happy for you. Yeah. So it, it, like I said, just taking that one step in removing your blindfolds and seeing the goodness and people all around you, you started to really find your soul tribe. You started to really, really connect back with the earth, the thing that keeps you grounded. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Abundance planning. Yes. You want to start abundance planning. I tell you, when you start removing other things out of your life, decluttering, because remember, we have Pluto that's retrograde right now. Pluto is retrograde. That's the planet of death, rebirth. So that really encourages everybody, um, at least until October the 6th, when it goes station direct um, to, um, or the evening of October 6th, when it goes station direct, to really declutter, remove things from your space. If there are people in your life that really don't serve your highest purpose if you know you're not on the same frequency you really don't need to send out a mass text message saying hey we're not on the same frequency no longer your friend <laughs> you don't have to do that you just move on you just move on um because the closure is for you right and so jupiter is also retrograde right now jupiter is the planet of ethics it rules philosophy, luck, and good fortune. So, like I said, you have a lot of things that the universe is trying to release to you. But again, taking those blindfolds off and just uh, blindfolds off and seeing things for what it truly is. The universe is going to show you. It's going to show you in ways in your body. Like if you feel, if you get around certain people, the energy, you feel the chills or you feel hot all of a sudden or it feels like the hair on the back of your neck is standing up. It's going to show you through your body because that's where the grounding comes from. Um, we have Mercury that's retrograde until tomorrow, um, until tomorrow evening. Um, and so um, that's the planet of communication. So communication should clear up. 
So it should be no, you shouldn't have any, you shouldn't feel like there's any static between you and anybody. Saturn is also retrograde. Saturn is the planet of ambition. It actually rules achievement, career, wealth, business. So that's where you want to continue at least until October the 10th. Um, when it goes station direct, the evening of October the 10th, this is where you want to consider your long-term goals, your responsibility. You want to practice, uh, practice a little bit of self-discipline. You want to decide who you want to give access to your life and who you don't want to give access to your life. So this is a great time for you to sit down with a pen and pad and start mapping out how you want your next chapters of your life to look, Taurus, because looking at the cars, they look great to me. <laughs> but again, you want to focus on abundance planning. This is what I have for you, Taurus. Have a fantastic Monday. Bye.